Hey everyone, my name is Leanne and this is my first video. So I do a lot of blogging and I'm on Instagram all the time and my lifestyle is a little different. I don't go out to work anymore, I work from home, but I do a lot of skincare. So I thought for my first video I would show you my morning skincare routine. I just woke up and this is what my skin looks like. Sometimes when I wake up my skin's really oily from all the oils that I used the night before during my evening skincare routine and sometimes it looks like this today which is pretty normal, um, a little oily. So I have acne prone, super sensitive, combination dry uh, skin. So I have to make sure that in the morning it's properly hydrated and it's ready for makeup if I decide to go out that day or it's just hydrated and protected throughout my day. So if you would like to see my morning skincare routine, please keep watching. Welcome to my bathroom. You're actually sitting in my bathtub. I don't have a fancy bathroom, so this is how it's gonna go. I also can't do voiceovers because I don't own a microphone. Let's get into my morning skincare routine. So first, I have to put my hair up. So I like to take these clips. I got this in a pack of, I think, two or three at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I basically put my hair up in a ponytail and then I twist it. Just like if I was putting into a bun and then I wrap my hair around and take my clip and I just clip it so that the tail doesn't come out. It really helps when your hair is really dirty. I take my Cool Enough Studio Bunny Headband and it's made of microfiber which is awesome because when you wet your face your hair doesn't get wet. So you just tie it around the back, wrap it around the back and then you just twist the ears, pull over the ears, ow. Sometimes it gets, gets a little tricky. You do have these stupid like plastic, the wires poking out, but you know. And that's it. And it's cute. So I washed my hands with soap and water. I wet my face towel first just so I have something to grab onto when there's water falling down my face. Just to protect your pajamas, you know? I'm going to cleanse my face and I have been using the Osea Ocean Cleansing Milk. And I really, really like this. It's super gentle and it's called a cleansing milk because it doesn't lather. It's great for sensitive skin and it's really powerful at cleansing your face. So I know I'm one of those who likes a lather because I feel clean, but I've gotten over that. Um, I pick products that help my skin and not strip it of hydration. So I have been using the Caladryl Calamine Lotion. I got the idea to use Calamine Lotion mixed in with my cleanser from a YouTuber a long time ago. I don't think she makes videos anymore, but if you don't know what calamine lotion is, it's used to relieve itchiness or irritation on the skin, like rashes. So I always wake up with rashes on my face and most of it, most of my rashes end up on my neck, but um, it's also great for pimples. So if you have inflamed pimples or irritated pimples, this calms it right down. And I find that when I mix it with my Osea cleanser, it doesn't run down my face as quickly as if I just use the Osea cleanser by itself. I'm gonna wet my face with lukewarm water. Really important to use lukewarm water. If you don't know what lukewarm water is, it's, it's the happy medium in between warm and cool. What I like to do since I'm so oily is I kind of just like to make sure that that surface oil is gone before I go in with my cleanser. 
So I started my cheeks. I have an analog clock here, so I just look at it to help me time how long I spend on each part of my face. So with my cheeks, I do 20 seconds, my forehead 20, and my nose and chin 20. Now onto my chin and my nose. So the reason I time how long I cleanse my face for is because you want to make sure that you cleanse your face for a minute, a full minute. It helps when you have one of those cleansing devices like a Foreo Luna or the Clarisonic brush because they are um, because they have a built-in timer. Okay, so I just ring around my eyebrows and my eyes for 10 times roughly. I didn't count because I can't talk while counting. And then I do 10 underneath my eyes. Make sure it's super clean under there. Then I bring it down to my neck. It's done. I'm going to rinse my face with, yes, you guessed it, lukewarm water. Grab my towel and just pat my face. And what I do with my towel is I just rub my lips. It's a gentle exfoliation. It gets all those flakes off. My cleansing is done. I move on to my toner. I absolutely love Thayer's Witch Hazel and I use it in Rose Petal. It smells really good and it's super gentle on my skin makes it feel really clean and hydrated. I take a cotton pad and because I'm super cheap, I take these rounds and I cut them in half and then I cut them in half again. That's basically all I need for my face and my neck. So I'm gonna take it on my pad and just, I don't know, kind of saturate it, but not drench it. I'll start on my forehead. Make sure I get into my hairline in case there is any residual cleanser. I take all of my toners around my eyes and down my neck. I know I always try to make sure that I drink water in the morning just to hydrate my skin and wake my body up. And it also helps when you do facial massages because you get to, it's easier to drain your system of all the toxins when you have, um, when you hydrate yourself first. I have my toner done. I go in with my hydrating setting spray. So this is a spray that I made and I repurposed this bottle because it has a really good spray nozzle on it. And I got the inspiration to make it from this spray. So it has rose water, glycerin, and aloe vera juice. Pick it up before you use it so that the glycerin gets mixed. I have my hydrating spray on. I go in with my eye cream and I've been using the Wamisa Organic Flowers Eye Essence. I absolutely love this eye cream it's lightweight but it's super hydrating and it seems to minimize my my fine lines and it doesn't cause any milia it also smells delicious yep just like flowers so i just take a pea-sized amount on my ring finger mash it in between my fingers just to spread the product and apply it on my eye area. So I start in the bottom and then I go inward in tapping motions. So I always use my eye cream all over my eye area unless otherwise stated like it shouldn't be used on the eyelids or wherever. I always put it all over my eye area. So I remember reading in a magazine that your products will only work where you put them. Makes sense, doesn't it? 
whatever's left on my fingers, I just put them on my laugh lines since they've gotten really dry and more pronounced over the years. Now at this point, I just look at the condition of my skin. If I have any whiteheads or an active breakout or maybe a breakout is healing, then I go in with my tea tree oil. So I've been using the Desert Essence tea tree oil. I have been using this for well over five, six years. This is my number one pimple blaster. It also calms any irritation and redness that I have on my skin. Just take it, tap it, and place it on any of the areas that I want to calm redness or get rid of a pimple. It's really, really powerful when it's undiluted and it can burn your skin. So what I do afterward is I go right into my oils. I make this mix of oils myself. It's just jojoba oil and rosehip seed oil. And I mix them together because I went on vacation and I didn't want to bring two bottles. So one of my jojoba oil and one of my rosehip seed oil. So I just mix them together and it works. They work exactly the same together as they do separately. I take just a drop, just a drop or two in the palm, spread it, and then pat all over my face. I pat over my eyes, my lips, my neck, and my chest. Now I do a morning facial massage. If you'd like to see a video on that, let me know the inspiration from a Korean makeup artist and she's also on YouTube and she did do a video on it but it's two minutes long and when I started doing it last year I couldn't afford to stand in front of the mirror for two two for two minutes to massage my face so I have a much shorter version it takes probably less than a minute I would say maybe like 30 seconds so if you'd like to see a video, let me know. Moisturizer, I use the Egyptian Magic Cream. And yes, it's all busted and dirty, but I've been using this for about two years, I believe. And I started using this in the morning. I don't know what happened. I feel like it's global warming, but my skin's disgustingly dry. I need more substance than like a liquidy moisturizer. And this is more like a balm. So a balm doesn't have any water in it. This is what it looks like in the pot. I've been using this for, if I've been using this for two years, pretty sure it's gonna last me another two years since I'm all only halfway down. Fortunately, this cream doesn't come with a spatula, so I do have to dig my finger into it. I don't really mind. I don't break out from digging into my own products and I generally have clean hands. I mean, this is all other skincare products and I'm not about to rinse my hands before using this because I you, you get the, all the benefits from your skincare products when you use them on your hands. So I just dig into it with the back of a finger and you really don't even need that much. I mean, literally just a pea sized amount of this, put it in a, in a palm, spread it, and then I pat. basically every inch of my upper body is moisturized. Now my morning skincare routine is done. The screen that I would use is Make Prem's Blu-ray Sun Gel. It's super lightweight. It does smell like sunscreen, but it's not nauseating. And I used it once and I really like it skin looks like now after I do my skincare routine. Yes, I'm getting a rash right here. So this will eventually go away. It's not itchy, but I feel hydrated. I feel moisturized and I definitely, I feel okay for being on my period. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me about your morning skincare routine. So please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'm planning to turn almost all of my blog posts into videos. So the next one should be an evening skincare routine. If you have your own blog, 
leave that down below in a comment too. I'd love to read it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.